So decomposition reactions of some solids in the in a dry test tube. If I take ammonium dichromate, which is an orange solid, on heating, it forms nitrogen plus water vapor plus Cr2O3, which is a green residue thrown out. So this decomposition reaction forms the basis of chemical volcano experiment because green residue is thrown out. If I take potassium nitrate solid on heating, it forms potassium nitrite solid plus oxygen gas. This is the solid. So the reaction is 2 moles of potassium nitrate on heating forms 2 moles of potassium nitrite and oxygen. If I take ammonium chloride solid, which on heating forms ammonia and HCl both escape as vapors. So this is a solid which on heating leaves no residue because both the products are volatile. If I take potassium permanganate which on decomposition forming potassium manganate plus MnO2 both are solids plus oxygen gas. So the balanced equation is 2 moles of KMnO4 on heating forms K2MnO4 potassium manganate which is a green solid manganese dioxide which is a black solid along with oxygen. <clears throat> so this leaves some residue this what I have not written this is a residue these two are residue magnesium carbonate solid on heating forms magnesium oxide solid plus carbon dioxide gas. So these are the decomposition reactions. In this ammonium chloride alone is a solid which on heating leaves no residue because both the products are volatile. In all the other cases this is the residue in the first case. Potassium nitrate is a residue in the second case. In the fourth case potassium manganate as well as manganese dioxide both are residue and in the last case magnesium carbonate magnesium oxide is a residue. So in this only ammonium chloride on heating leaves no residue because both the products are they escape as gases they are volatile.